What's up? This is Ray with AnyHipHop.com. I'm hanging here with Dez, the CEO of the Dolo Clothing Company. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me, guys. Anytime. So uh, I'd like to start off just by talking about the brand and the history of it and how it kind of you know came about. The brand itself started in 02 as an idea, uh, registered and trademarked in 04. Um, the, the street aspect of the brand is Dolo. That's the street. Everyone knows that because the word Dolo actually derived from the street itself. It's nothing that I came up with. I added my twist to it and made it more of a conscious brand. But in the street, Dolo means being confident to be yourself, you know, to that loner person that, that have that drive just to be him. You know, don't have to hang around 10, 20 people, you know, just to be confident within himself. He can be confident with who he is as a person by, by himself. Mm -hmm. And that and that and that's a reflection of who I am as a person. I don't need to hang around twenty people just to say I'm down or I'm cool or whatever. I'd rather yeah. go against the, go against the grain and and meet up with you somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? But um, we wanted to do something different. Um, I know we most of our ideas or or the start of it came from when Fubu and Maurice Malone and Carl and I started. Those were my influences, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that to me didn't really register was a lot of the brands didn't stand for anything you know everyone was wanted to be cool and it, and standing for something at the time wasn't cool you know mm -hmm. um mark echo came along and transcended the for us by us aspect and made it more cross-cultural appeal which was great you yeah. know so he himself was a role model to me and and the direction of our brand i noticed that it's not just style you got like big messages on there like follow nobody right. be yourself that right. kind of stuff is that important to you to get a message with the clothing absolutely we use our brand as a voice you know um that you know while i was in college i used to write poems all the time so that a lot of my um wording and phrase may may, may sound conscious and and, and and sound like it's poetic but it's really from um, who I am as a person and, and, and standing for something means a lot to me, you know, and, 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 and being a voice and using our brand as a voice towards our society and, and, and how people uh, communicate and interact with each other. I think it's, it's our opportunity to make a change, so to speak. You got the barbershop here. So you've been in the style industry for a while. Right. Uh, having that kind of clientele, did that help you when you're getting the clothing company going? Um, I would say yes. It was kind of like a catalyst. Um, I wasn't working for corporate America, so it allowed me to do what I wanted to do, bounce in and out um, with, with, with the flexibility and the freedom, you know, versus trying to ask someone for vacation time. I was able to do my own thing yeah. and use some of that money to um, allocate it towards anything I want to do regarding samples and travel and, you know, all type of stuff regarding the brand itself. Can you tell us about the creative process, how it goes from an idea in your head to... The shirts that we see. Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't do the designs myself. What I do is I'm the conceptual person. I come up with ideas and I give it to the designers. And they uh, implement their creativity with the design, come back to me, and we go back and forth until it's exactly how I want it. But just the concept itself, I come up with the concepts. Can you tell us a little bit about like the style, what you were going for when you started it? Yeah. I know it's got, uh, you got roots and right. being an athlete and stuff, so right. I didn't know. That had something to do with it. Right, right. Well, I started being um, playing football at uh, Northeastern University, uh, full scholarship. Then stayed there for four years, went to Detroit Lions in 96, um, got released, second to last cut. But that actually changed my life because I had a bad attitude. City kid, bad attitude, not having a father, a role model. That actually play, played a big part of my life in, in my direction. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the main reasons why um, I probably didn't make the NFL was because my attitude took over and I allowed my um, college coach to take the love of the game away from me, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I think college and my experiences in college actually influenced my confidence and my drive to be who I am today in regards to setting a goal and, and, and not stopping until it's accomplished. I had no idea that you were at that level. Yeah, yeah I don't talk about it too much. <laughs> I don't talk That's about crazy. it. Yep. So if you want to do something, you just go do it. Well, what happened was I think after I, I achieved that goal of becoming an NFL player, mm -hmm. I said to myself that there's nothing else that I can't achieve. You know, if I put my mind and my heart to it, mm -hmm. you know, reaching a goal so big, you know, people said there's only a certain um, percentage of athletes make it to the professional level. And if I was one of the ones that made it, then why wouldn't I be able to do anything else I wanted to do? We do a lot of interviews. We see you. Everyone's wearing your stuff. Like right. We saw you in Big Boy, yep. Walker Flocka, you messing with Jack Thriller. Right. Can you tell us about, uh, you know, how it's how you changed in the last year with your company? I think people are really getting hip to the brand. Mm -hmm. I think that 
and the fact that we're growing. You know, our designs are getting better. Um, our outlook on what we want is getting better. You know, the more you work towards your goal, the more in tune you get with your product, so to speak. So I think mm -hmm. people are recognizing that. And, you know, once you have one, one person wearing it that, that has that substance, everyone else is going to wear it or, yeah. or be interested, especially if you stand for something, you know. So I appreciate that, and, and I'm humbled by all, all the people that are rocking the brand right now. So we're talking about all the cosigns you're getting lately. I was looking online today. I saw you actually have a collaboration coming out with Charlemagne the God. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about how you guys linked up and maybe something about the collaboration that's going to come? Well, we linked up through my man Emery. Emery Jones is, is um, Jay's right-hand man. They've been friends for so long. And they're, you know, basically family members. And um, Charlemagne knew um, Emery was 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 um, working with the brand and support me on, on, on the brand itself and wanted to support. So um, gave me the number and sent him some pieces. And it was history. And Charlemagne just supports as, as much as he, he can. And, and he, you know, right now we're doing this, this collaboration piece you're talking about. The collaboration itself is behind his show called don't be a don't be a donkey or a donkey of the day i think the show is called donkey of the day yeah so we did a show called don't be a donkey and um i think he's going to give it out to a lot of his celebs and a lot of his people that he kind of made fun of so to speak but it was all in joke you know mm -hmm. um charlamagne's a good dude at heart very very good dude and i don't think he means anything negatively but yeah. he has to do what he has to do in regards to his feeling, his entertainment. You know what I mean? You have people talking. Exactly, exactly. But I think people kind of take that a little bit too far sometimes because yeah. he's really a good dude, you know? Mm -hmm. So the collaboration, that's, this, this is actually our first collaboration. Yeah. Our first. So he reached out. I reached out to him. I was like, you know, see, you interested in doing a collab? Because he supported us for so long, you know, without even us, without us, like, you know, chasing him about it. It's just something that he liked. You know what I mean? It's something that he feel that he he resembles and he, he and, and, and he portrays itself in regards to being Dolo mm -hmm. and, and being confident and just being himself. Yeah. Like he is being himself. He <laughs> says what's on his mind. He says what's on his mind. Time. He says yeah. what's on his mind. And and, and, and and one thing I could say about Charlemagne, he is being himself all the time. I know you got a bunch of cosigns going on right now, but if you could see your clothing on anybody, like absolutely anyone, who mm -hmm. would it be? Who would you want rocking Dolo? Uh one of my biggest biggest People that I like is Common. I like Common. I like Talib Kweli. Everybody loves Jay Z. So you know that's probably the the dream person I guess right now is for Jay to rock it. You know, um, but the support that Emery's giving me, man, I think is pretty dope. He doesn't have to do anything. You know, he's just he, he does it genuinely. You know, Absolutely. but um, you know, pe people that 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 stands for something. You know, I, I, people reach out sometimes, and and I'm hesitant because they may not fit like what we're really trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, but we definitely want people that stands, stand for something. So you don't necessarily want someone just because they're hot. You want them to have you the message that goes with it. You can't have someone just because they're hot. There's so many people out there. You know what I mean? And, and I think one thing right now is we, we don't have an ambassador of the brand. Mm -hmm. I don't think the brand needs an ambassador. Yeah. I think the brand you know, needs some great opportunities and situations to continue. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we need an ambassador, so to speak. I think the brand is strong enough, you know, since yeah. it's been in the streets for so long. No matter how big you get, I think it's safe to say you want to keep that connection. You don't want to just turn into a company. I think like that I've learned a lot from my mistakes and my trials and tribulations, so to speak. And even people like Russell Simmons, which I've met, you know, a few times, his biggest thing was, you know, I've researched and studied Russ, you know. His biggest thing is keep your integrity yeah. of your brand. You know, if, if, if people are doing sexy T-shirts, don't necessarily jump on sexy T-shirts. Yeah. Remain who you are. Because at the end of the day, that's just the fad. You know what I'm saying? That fad is, is going to run out. Crash and, and burn with it if you try to copy it. Yeah. I mean, no. that whole sublimation thing, too. Everyone's doing a sublimation thing. But at one point, clean was cool. Mm -hmm. And clean is still cool. And clean will always be cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? So don't just change because of trends. You know, Absolutely. change change because you want to create your own lane. We're talking about some different types of clothes you're bringing out. You get the hoodies now, the sweaters. I don't know if I can talk about them. Like you talk about nah, anything. It's all good. It's all good. You're talk talking about getting some track jackets and different things out there. Well, first we started with just the t-shirts because of our budget. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot a lot of times I think people don't really pay attention to their budget. You know, so we started with the tees. We went to crews. Went to hoodies. We're getting into the. Um, break, um, windbreakers, we're getting into the socks, we're getting into the varsity jackets, we're getting into the cut and sew later on, fall 214. Yeah. But this spring, we're really doing raglins, crews, tees, socks. Got some um, cool stuff that we can't really 
talk about right now, mm -hmm. but we have some accessories that's coming in line and which is going to be pretty dope. Mm -hmm. It's going to add to that whole run dolo movement. You know, we have mm -hmm. the hats now, which is dope. People are loving that that um the red cola joint that we have, you know. So got some nice stuff. Got some nice stuff. But can you talk about if there's any one shirt or sweater hat that seems to be the favorite for this season holiday? Yeah. I think for holiday right now, the favorite has to be, product-wise, shirt-wise, will have to be a decade of fresh. Yeah? Yep. A decade of fresh with that whole Mickey Mouse dance with the beer. It was I dope. Think, I think that's the number one right now. You tell people where to go online and find some of your gear right now? Well, you can go on doloclothing.com mm -hmm. to find the exclusive pieces that we have. Um, dope pieces. We got the crews, the hoodies, the snapbacks, um, the raglans. Uh, we gave some tributes to... Um, Q-Tip and, and Tribe Called Quest. We gave some tributes to Biggie, which is pretty dope. Uh, we call it Live to Inspire versus Ready to Die. You know, that's and that's the consciousness in our brand. Our Twitter is at Rondolo. Uh, Instagram is Dolo Clothing CO. And you can find us on Facebook, excuse me, <coughs> under um, Dolo Clothing Company. Mm -hmm. And we're just all over. We're all over, man, and, and we're just grinding at this. And if you don't stop at something that you believe in, at the end of the day, it's going to happen for you. But you just have to maintain and, 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 and be uh, persistent and persevere. You know, when no one believes in you, you got to believe in yourself. You know, when 10,000 people believe in you and you don't believe in yourself, mm -hmm. 10,000 people doesn't even matter. You know? Absolutely, so at the end of the day, like we say, follow nobody and just be you. What's up, people? This is Dez, CEO of Dolo Clothing Company, repping NE Hip Hop, the cool guys out of Boston, Mass. Just want to thank you guys for coming through and checking our brand. Follow nobody at the end of the day, man. Be yourself. That's what we stand for. Salute. Shout out to Dolo Clothing, man.